the fact that this woman was, was able to make up this many false claims about being assaulted by men, it just goes to show how the, the, ju the justice system for any part of the world is not being taken seriously. It's not taking like false accu false accusers seriously, and these false accusers will do anything in their power to, to just put, an put to put any innocent men in jail, whether probably, probably because they probably probably got rejected by him, rejected by them, they didn't know and stay advances, or as you know, some some stupid like that 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 pertains to what the the female uh, analogy. I don't know. You know, some of some of y'all be changing up y'all stances every two every freaking two hours, so it's hard to tell what what y'all think. And quite honestly, it's it's freaking annoying at this point. When you got people out here, you got men out, out there who are in who are in jail right now because because, because of a false accusation, and they are live they are trying to live a normal life, but they can't because they have this this little this little uh freaking. This little black cloud over their head that pe that even though you are you was proven innocent by way of court of law and they and they put some women in jail that's the quote unquote some because not because not all women get jail time for putting a man in, for putting a man in jail for something that he didn't do it's honestly pretty sickening and the fact that no that nobody especially the feminist movement does not want to want to uh, come out against this it just go, goes to show like they don't care they don't actually care about equality they they care about more. They care more about special terms. They want they want to be held higher to a pedestal, even though they don't hold themselves higher to a pedestal. If you guys don't know what I'm, talk, what I'm talking about, this this is another case of woman of a of some woman out here, some some hardcore man hating woman who do who will do everything in the in their power to make sure that a man, whether it be one man, two man, one and one man is 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 enough already because it because there's already enough men in jail. For false accusations, but let me do, let me go ahead and read read out this article from the Blaze Media from that was from October first, twenty twenty two. Woman gets jail sentence for making ten false rape claims against two men. Police in the UK launched sixty investigations into allegations that two men uh, assaulted a British woman. However, now the woman who claimed to be a sexual assault victim is going to jail after the rape accusations turned out to be false, according to, to police. Kathy Richardson, 35, filed criminal complaints against two men between January and May of last year. One of the men she accused of rape was arrested and underwent a forensic examination. Quote, one of the men even agreed to have a GPS tracking tag fitted to his ankle, which was sent an alarm to police if it was destroyed or, or taken off. The, ex the Essex uh, Police Department stated, on a number of occasions, data from the tag was analyzed and showed that he was not in the area when Richardson said the attack had taken place, end quote. Both men were able to provide evidence that they were not anywhere near the alleged crime scenes where Richardson claimed the sexual assaults took place. Investigators analyzed surveillance camera uh, video, mobile phone data, and information from automatic number plate recognition, AMPR for short, uh, cameras. Authorities came to the conclusion that the alleged assaults never occurred when and where Richardson claimed. Richardson was arrested on May 28, 2021. She was charged with perverting the course of justice. The Essex woman uh, admitted to 10 counts of fabricating sexual assaults at Salisbury Crown Court on May 23, 2022. Essex Police Dep Detective Ins Inspector James Holmes, who led the investigation, said, quote, whenever an allegation of rape or assault, sexual assault case comes to us, our starting point is to believe the person making a claim. Uh, to begin with, Kathy Richardson claimed we're no different, and we carried out our inquiries with compassion and, and, and empathy. Holmes continued, however, it quickly became clear that clear the allegations Richardson had made were not what they seemed. Her claims do, do a great disservice to victims of rape and sexual assault who need or help our, and support. Holmes noted that the rape allegations made a huge impact on the lives of the two men she had accused. Her allegations led to a significant number of investigations which was for our officers, taking up a huge number of time and resources, which we would have preferred to have directed towards helping genuine victims who really need, who really do need us, he, he continued. Holmes conducted that he hoped that the fake rape accusations do not hurt future sexual assault victims for coming forward to authorities. I want to, quote, I want to reassure you that you will, you will be believed, we will support you, and we will investigate what has happened. So, guys, here we have some, nat, some nasty woman. Probably because she she got she got rejected by, by by these two men, 
I don't know what I don't know what what, what, what the story is. They probably had a bar. They probably they probably, they probably was probably was flirting, and then uh, when she when she probably got a little too probably got a little too uncomfortable, or you know, she claimed that the 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 freaking um her them rejecting him, them rejecting her was a how can anybody do this to me? I'm not I'm not not saying this is what happened. This, this is just a, a speculation. But the fact that these guys weren't. That the story says these guys weren't nowhere near her when any of these actions took place. It just it just going to show like she like she was just uh she was just look, looking to put an innocent man in jail just just for the hell of it. And the fact that they are at, that there are actually women out here not talking against this besides besides some, besides probably like two like two people on two or three people women on this platform who go who comes out against this says like a woman that does this. Actually, takes away some legitimacy from from actual uh, rape victims, which is uh, which is also true. You wonder why a lot some people out here when when a woman comes up with with a with a, uh, a accusation like this, some of them don't believe don't believe them firsthand. Is because of stories like this, and there's plenty more stories out there where there are literally thousands of men in jail. They've been put in jail throughout the de throughout the decades because of because uh, of some hurt hate filled woman who. Just want to see a, just want to see a man hurt or see a man's life uh, ruined. It's stories like this that makes that makes the Me Too movement look like a joke. Which which the Me Too movement is a, is also a joke. I'm not I'm not gonna lie because that because they actually use the the hurt and pain of, of actual assault victims, rape victims, and they use that as a means in order, in order to like gain money and get 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 one over on, on some uh, politicians or some people. Which is very sickening. It's very sickening, and a lot more people should should be uh, taking a stance against this. Actually, bringing forth some consequences for women who who do bring forth false accusations. Because the most that the most time that I've seen that a woman faces when it comes to a, a accusation like this, the most she would got from what I read was two years, while the man would been facing fifteen or ten or fifteen. Which is how is that injustice? How is that equality? How is how is any of this a good a good thing when you falsify a accusation like this and try to ruin two men's lives just for the hell of it? But I'm glad justice was served, and also there are more women, there are more women out there like this. So with that being said, to to the to the to the guys to the men out out there who, who are watching who are watching this video right now, be careful and be be sure to keep your hands in your pockets. Especially when when you go when you going towards, you know, because you never know what, what kind of woman you, you might be coming across. But with that being said, like I'm subscribed to the video, hit the notification bell. I will see y'all next one. Peace. Also, make sure you join me on my Discord. You know the links are in the description below. You guys want want to have a, a conversation, want to talk. You guys want want to promote your own videos. You want to talk about gaming, movies, and TV shows, or politics. You know, just you know, hit that link in the description box below. And let's have a chat. Also, make sure you follow me on my Twitch. I'll I be I'll be on my Twitch sometimes, just playing games, just be chilling. Some new games coming out this year that I want to play, especially when it comes to like you know Resident Evil games. And you know, just make sure you subscribe. You subscribe there. You follow me there, and let's have, have some fun. Also, make sure that you do like, comment, and subscribe to my channel because. You know, you, the YouTube algorithm is hurting everybody at at this point, and they do not want, they do not like seeing small guys like myself grow. So make sure you like, come subscribe, because your man try to get paid here, people. It don't take nothing but a second.